Did you ever have a client who owed you money and then suddenly could not pay? Well, then you need to learn how to record writing off uncollectible clients. If you have any questions about this topic, you can leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to help you. And of course, if you feel the video helped you, I hope you will click like and don't forget to subscribe to get updates on new videos that come out all the time. Sometimes clients who owe us money become bankrupt, broke, or insolvent. This means that any balance they owe to us has become uncollectible. We therefore must remove their balance from the client's records. And this also affects the chart of accounts. So how does writing off uncollectible clients affect the chart of accounts? Well, we have a new expense that represents the money we lose when clients become insolvent. And this expense increases at the moment we declare that we will not get the money that is owed to us and we record it in our QuickBooks Online records. The client's balance also has to be removed from the unearned legal fees account. And that means if it's a positive number, it goes down to zero. If it's a negative number, it becomes more negative. We also have to make sure in the client's records that the client has a zero balance when we finish. So what are the options for removing a client's balance if they become uncollectible? Well, accountants would normally make a journal entry and include on the same line as the unearned um, legal fees in the journal entry they would put the client's name. And we did something similar to this with an adjustment early on in this course. Another option is to use the accountant's tool that comes with QuickBooks Online if and only if you are logged in as the accountant user. If you are logged in as the accountant user, you can use a tool called the Write-Off Uncollectible Invoices tool. However, the best procedure for a law firm to write off uncollectible clients is to do the procedure that we will learn here. It involves setting up an item on the list of products and services to be used anytime we must write off an uncollectible client's money. So how do we set up for the procedure that an attorney would use in QuickBooks Online if a law firm wanted to write off an uncollectible client's balance? Well, first you have to add to the chart of accounts an expense called bad debt expense. So let's do that now. We click on the top right, we click the cog wheel, we go over to the left where the chart of accounts is. Now the uh, chart of accounts comes already with a lot of different expense type of accounts that QuickBooks Online is trying to help us with. But it does not come with bad debt expense. We have to add that account the way that we learned. We click New, and then the type is Expense. And as far as the detail type, you can go Bad Debt. Bad Debt is one of the detail types for expenses and we can leave the name bad debts or we can put our name loss from un oops collectible clients or you could just leave it as bad debt click save and close but whatever you name the expense, it's on the list available for use at the moment you record writing off the client. So what else do we have to do? We have to add an item to the list of products and services called uncollectible balance write-off. And as you know, when you add an item 
to the list of products and services, you must connect it to an account. And the account that this item will be connected to is the bad debt expense, the account that we just created. So in the top right, we click the cog wheel and we go across to list and we click list of products and services. Now here are all the products and services that are already on the list and we click new. And even though it's not a service, we should set it up like a service because it will behave that way on the credit memo. Uncollectible bal uh, balance write-off. So the name is And the account that it is connected to is the account we just put on our list, loss from uncollectible clients. Save and close. Now we are ready to record writing off clients and have QuickBooks Online work for us the way that we need. And now that we're set up, let's discuss the procedures for writing off uncollectible clients. First, we have to make a credit memo for that client and choose the item that we just put on the list of products and services, uncollectible balance write-off. We then input the balance of the client that will become the bad debt expense. Then we will apply that new credit memo to any remaining open invoice and that will zero out the client's balance. For example, let's imagine on April 16, we received a notice from the bankruptcy court that Candy will no longer be able to pay the $1,500 balance that she owes us. This is the date of the credit memo because that's the day we got the formal notice and that's the date that we declared the balance is uncollectible. So before we do that, let's click Reports and let's click Open Invoice. So you can see Candy has a $1,500 balance. After making the credit memo, this may disappear into zero if QuickBooks Online automatically applies that credit memo to this invoice. If it does not, then we will have to go and apply it ourselves. Also, if we click Reports, and we go to the trial balance, you will see that bad debt expense will show up for the first time as $1,500. And unearned legal fees will change to the amount that represents the remaining client's balance. From the top left, we click New, and then we go down to Credit Memo. We choose the client, in this case Candy. We put the date that we formally got notice because that's the date that we are declaring this has become uncollectible as of April 16th of 2021. Then we click directly under the word product and service, click the pull down arrow and choose the appropriate item, the item that we just made uncollectible balance write-off and the amount of Candy's balance which is now uncollectible $1,500. Now when we click save and close you can see the trial balance has now corrected itself. We now have loss from uncollectible clients as an expense showing up for $1,500 and unearned legal fees moved from a $300 debit balance to a $1,200 credit balance. That means it was $300 positive, now it's $1,200 negative, and it represents what we owe to a client in future service. Let's confirm that this is correct by opening the Open Invoice Report. We click Reports, and we go to open invoice and you can see the only remaining balance is money 
of future legal services that we owe to Allen for 1200 it says negative because it's on the credit side we owe Allen for future credits uh, uh, legal services and you'll notice Candy's balance is nowhere to be found because it has been removed and behind the scenes when you make a credit memo QuickBooks automatically applies that to an invoice.